Although this technique is almost exclusively identified to the technical realm, this way of thinking can be quite useful for other sectors. The intention is to show where our requirements or some development or maybe even the status of an initiative you're working on are and what's required to transition to the next phase. That's the whole idea. This includes making sure everyone understands what the limitations are of your current state and our efforts are tied to some sort of life cycle dependent on the efforts in question. So, what are some of those key elements of a state diagram? Number one, you can't be at two places at once. So, either you're in one state or another. No exceptions. Number two, the elements should be clearly defined and need to be unique within our model. Number three, each journey has a start. Make sure your model does too. Number four, there are no limits how many stops this journey may take. Just make sure that the story is comprehensive. Number five, the transition from one state to another requires some sort of trigger. Here I'm talking about something specific that needs to happen in order to move from one state to another. So don't forget to include this prompt. When you see this example on your screen, does it hold any relation to your world? Does it help you in keeping to your, your processes clear? Does the various stakes make sense as they're displayed here on the screen? Can you differentiate between one state and another? I personally think that state diagrams are no longer for IT anymore or exclusively for IT, but you need to make the effort to understand the beauty of explaining matters as clearly and distinctly as possible. Once you've reached this BA promise land, you'll always be able to appreciate the beauty of explaining a condition as clearly and distinctly as possible, regardless of the sector or the assignment at hand. Enjoy.